Okay, we're going to start sat down tonight. So if you have tight hips, then feel free to sit on a block or a cushion um, or a stack of books if you don't have either of those. Um, if you prefer to sit on your knees, then feel free to sit on your knees. But essentially, you want your knees to be lower than your hips, if possible. And we'll start just by gently closing our eyes and <clears throat> taking the awareness to the breath. So if you want to connect to the breath more strongly, then put one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. And just notice where your breath is at this evening. I'm not trying to change it in any way at all. Just letting the breath come and go. Just noticing the quality of your inhale, the quality of your exhale, the length of the inhale, the length of the exhale, whether there's any spaces in between. Notice if the breath feels restricted in any way or whether it's able to flow freely. Notice where the breath moves your body and how deeply you're breathing. Notice if you're breathing through your nose or your mouth, or maybe a mixture of the two. Then have a mindful check-in with how you're feeling this evening. <laughs> there's any areas of tension or sensations you want to work on in class this evening. Just noticing how you feel today with everything that's going on in the world. And then gently fluttering your eyes open, put both of your hands on your belly and we'll concentrate on deepening the breath. So on each inhale, really try and inhale the belly into your hands. And on each exhale, feel the belly contract as it pushes the air back out. So inhale, really feel the belly into the hands. And then exhale, feel the belly contract as the air is pushed out. Inhaling into the hands. and exhaling as the air pushes out. Three more into the hands. And move the hands to your ribs. So this time, think about the air expanding the ribs out to the side. So expanding the ribs into your hands. So as you inhale, the ribs spread. And as you exhale, they squeeze back towards one another again. Inhale as the ribs spread. Exhale as they squish back together again. Inhale to really spread the breath into the hands. And then exhale as they contract again. Three more, breathing into those hands. And 
then taking the hands onto the collarbone. So your fingertips are on your collarbones. This time as we inhale, we inhale, expand the belly, inhale, expand the ribs side to side, and then inhale, expand the chest front to back. But we keep the shoulders relaxed. And then exhale as everything contracts and the breath leaves the body. So inhale into the belly, inhale into the ribs, inhale into the chest, expanding front to back. And then exhale nice and slowly as everything contracts and the air is pushed out. Inhale into the belly, the ribs side to side, the chest front to back, then exhale nice and slowly as everything contracts. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest, exhale slowly. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest, exhale. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest, exhale, excellent. Then release the hands, remove the block or the cushion that you're sitting on and let's come round into tabletop. So hands can be slightly forward of the shoulders so we don't over flex the wrists. And we'll start just with a few rounds of cat-cow, so the knees directly below the hips. As we inhale, let the tummy come down, the sit bones go up towards the ceiling, press the mat away, look up. Then as you exhale, pearl the tailbone under, arch through the back, pull the belly in, the head comes down. So inhale as we go down. And exhale as you go up. Inhale as you go down, sit bones up, press the ground away, look up. And then exhale, really curl that tailbone under, lifting up the mid back, dropping the head. Inhale as you come down. And exhale as you go up. Trying to get every bone in the spine moving. Inhaling as we come down. Really scooping out that back, belly comes down, push the ground away, look up. And then exhale, really round through the back. Really stretch it up, pull the belly in, press the ground away, head, hands low. One more each way, inhale as you come down. And exhale as you go up. Then come back to a neutral spine. Take a nice big inhale, and then exhale, look around to one hip, making a C shape with your spine. Inhale back through center, and then exhale, look around towards the other hip, making a C shape in the other direction. Inhale through center, exhale, look at one hip. Inhale through center, exhale, look at the other hip. Inhale through center, Exhale one way, inhale through center, exhale the other way. Then coming back to center, take the right leg out behind you, really stretch the leg out long, toe can be pointed or foot flex, whichever feels more natural for you. And then lift that heel up towards the ceiling six times, really squeezing the glute each time trying to lift the heel a little bit higher. And then once you've done your six, keep the leg out to the back, stretch the opposite arm out in front and get really strong in this pose, really pressing down through the shin and the hand onto the mat. Take a nice big inhale, exhale, elbow to knee, curving through the back. Inhale to stretch out, neutral spine. Exhale, curve the back, elbow to knee. Inhale to stretch out, neutral spine. And then exhale, curl, elbow to knee. 
Inhale, stretch out, put the hand down, keep the leg up, and then we'll toe tap side to side. So take the leg over, cross it over the left, tap the toes down towards the left hand side. Then lift the foot back up again and tap the toes out to the right side. So we're getting the hips moving. So inhale, tap it over to one side. Exhale, tap it over to the other side. Keep the core pulled in. Inhale, tap it over to one side. Exhale, tap it over to the other side. We're going to do three more of these. Keep the belly strong, keep the spine nice and neutral. Inhaling one way, exhaling the other way. Moving mindfully, inhaling one way, exhaling the other way. Keep that tummy pulled in, last one. Inhaling over one way, exhaling over the other way. Good, then bring that knee back to the ground and we'll do the other side. So take the left leg out behind you this time. Again, either toe pointed or foot flex, whichever feels more natural. And then lift that foot up to the ceiling six times. Each time, trying to lift the foot a little higher, squeezing the bum muscles, squeezing the glutes. Then once you've done that, keep that foot out, stretch the opposite arm out in front of you. Get stable first, really firm down through your shin and your hand. Stretch the arm and the leg out, make sure the muscles are engaged around the limbs so that helps you be stable. Pull the core muscles in, take a nice big inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee, really round through the back. Inhale to stretch back out again. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale to stretch, pulling the core muscles in. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale to stretch, put the hand down and then we'll do our crisscross. So to start with, cross the leg over the right and tap the toes down. Then as you exhale, bring them around to the other side, tap them around to the left. Inhale, take them over one way. Exhale, take them the other way. Inhale, cross them over, and then exhale, bring them out to the side. Inhale, cross them over, Exhale, take it out to the side. Keep breathing, inhale one way, exhale the other. Two more, keep the core pulled in, keep your back neutral, inhale one way, exhale the other way. Last one, press that ground away, pull the core muscles in, inhale, and then exhale the other way. Good, come back to tabletop, ground down through the hands, tuck the toes and push up into our first downward facing dog. Really stretching the chest through towards the thighs, pressing down through the palms and the fingers. Fingers are spread wide, knees can be bent. Then take a nice big inhale, come up onto your tiptoes, and then exhale, stretch the heels down towards the mat. Inhale up onto the tiptoes, Exhale, stretch the heels down towards the mat. Inhale up onto the tiptoes. Exhale, stretch the heels down towards the mat. Good, then looking forwards, step, jump, hop, walk to the tops of your mats, coming into a deep forward fold. Then inhale, halfway lift, long back, long neck, and then exhale, fold. And then inhale, roll all the way up to standing, reaching the hands up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, hands to heart centre. We'll do three breaths here, inhaling arms up, reaching up, looking up, maybe a little back bend. Exhale, hands to heart centre. Inhale, reaching those arms up to the side, looking up, maybe a little back bend. Exhale, hands back to heart centre. Inhale, all the way up, looking up, reaching up. Exhale, hands back to heart centre. Good, inhale, arms up. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Really let the head hang, let the body lay over your thighs, knees bent. 
Then take the left leg back. Staying in a high lunge, you can always drop the back knee if you need to, but otherwise stay with the knee lifted. Float the arms up into warrior one. Really squeeze the inner thighs towards one another. Keep the breath moving in the body. Be really stable in your legs, really strong. From here, take the left hand towards the back of your mat and the right hand towards the front, coming into an open twist. Keeping those legs strong, keeping the hips facing forwards. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, twist the same way. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, twist the same way. Left arm going back. Inhale, arms up. Then exhale, float the hands down to frame the front foot. Step back to plank. You can either bring your knees, your chest and your chin towards the floor or come down through Chaturanga into your Cobra or your Upward Facing Dog. If you're doing Upward Facing Dog, engage the legs, let the knees pop up off the floor. Both cases, shine the heart forward, really stretch open the chest. Exhale, coming back down towards the mat, tuck the toes, take the hips back towards your heels and then push up to our Downward Facing Dog again. Looking forwards, step, hop or jump towards the tops of your mats and forward fold. Nice deep bend in the knees. We inhale into a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up to the top, looking up, reaching up. Exhale, hands to heart centre. Good, three breaths, arms in a different direction this time. So inhale, reach up, reach back into a small back bend. And then exhale the hands around to the sides. Inhale up, small back bend, really engage the core, pull in the bum muscles. Exhale, arms down to the side. Inhale, look up, pull all the muscles in around the core. Exhale, come back down. Good. Other side flow. Inhale, arms up, reach up, look up. Exhale, folding forwards, bending the torso over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, long back, long neck. And then exhale, fold. Right leg this time. Take it back into warrior one. You can come down on your knee if you really need to. Otherwise, inhale, arms straight up, pull in the core and get comfortable in your pose. So legs are strong, inner thighs pulling towards one another, hips facing forwards. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, open to the sides. The right arm goes back, left arm comes forward. Inhale, back up to centre. Exhale, into your twist. Inhale, up through centre. Exhale, into your twist, keeping your hips facing forwards. Beautiful. Inhale, up. And then exhale, float the hands down to frame the front foot, stepping back to plank. And then knees, chest, chin, or come down to Chaturanga into your Cobra or your Up Dog. Really stretch the chest forwards. Nice big inhale. Then exhale, coming back down to the mat, tucking the toes, taking the hips back towards the heels, pushing back up to your Downward Facing Dog. Few breaths in Downward Facing Dog. We're looking forward, step, jump or hop towards the top of your mat and then take yourself all the way down to the mat. So if you can, sit down onto the sit bones and bring the legs out in front of you or get there however you can. And then for this one, we want a little Charlie's Angel gun at heart centre. You can either keep, there's two levels to this exercise basically, you can either keep one foot on the floor and just do it with one leg or you can do it with both legs. Essentially what we're going to be doing is if you're doing it with one leg, it's the opposite leg and you take your hands to one side, then you come back to middle and you take it to the other side, back to the middle. If you're doing it with both legs, then obviously we start in boat pose. We take both legs up as we come to one side, 
back to the middle, both legs up to the other side, back to the middle. So the whole idea of this is to really get the core working and get the core fired up before we get too tired. <laughs> so we're going to do a few of these. So either opposite foot to the side. So if I do it this way as well, you might be able to see better. So if we're doing it one foot, we go like this from side to side. And if we're doing both feet, we start in boat pose and then we go side to side. In both exercises, it's really, really important to keep the core tight and to keep the core strong. If you're finding it too much, then drop one of the toes to the floor because we don't want to um, hurt our lower back. And if the tummy muscles aren't strong, then it might hurt the lower back. So just be mindful with your own practice and do what suits you this evening. So if we're starting in boat pose, take a nice big inhale and then exhale to the side. Inhale, center. Exhale, the side. Inhale, center. Exhale, one way. Inhale, center. Exhale, the other way. Good. Two more each side. And cross the legs and roll over your legs and just let the head hang. Just stretching out that lower back. Take a few really deep breaths here. Then we'll do another round. So come back to your boat pose. Really make that lower back nice and strong. Really engage the core. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale to the side. Two more each side. Then cross your legs the other way around, the, right, the way that feels uncomfortable. And then roll yourself over your legs, hang your head and have a few breaths. Roll yourself up, put your feet either side of your yoga mat, using your hands if you need to, attempt to come forward into a yogi squat. If yogi squat's too deep for you, then just make your way to a normal squat. Three really deep breaths here. And then whichever kind of squat you're in, keeping your hands at heart center and only using the strength in your legs, push the ground away as you come up to standing. Beautiful job. Come to the tops of your mats, really ground down through the feet. Stack everything on top of one another. Stack your hips above your knees, above your ankles. Stack your spine above the pelvis, shoulders balanced on top. Head on top of that. Take the palms facing forwards. Roll the shoulders back and down so the shoulder blades are relaxed. Nice big inhale as we reach the hands up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, folding forwards. Nice big bend in the knees. Inhale into a halfway lift, long back, long neck. And then exhale, folding forwards again. This time, take the left knee back and drop it down towards the mat. Inhaling up, hands come to heart centre and then really um, relax the hips forward and down. So we're stretching out down the front of the left hip flexor. Any pain in the knee, you can always put a cushion under the knee or you could lift the back leg. Couple of breaths here. 
Then keeping the hips forward and down, reach the left hand down towards the mat inside the front foot. Again, if that's out of reach, you can always use a block there. And then inhale the right arm up towards the ceiling, really stretching those fingertips up, trying to get your shoulders in line with one another. Maybe even taking the right shoulder further back than the left, really opening up through the chest, squeezing across the back of the shoulder blades, trying to make sure that the hips stay in line. Good. And then using your core strength, lift up the torso, coming into a twist in this low lunge. So the right hand is going out to the back, left hand is coming forwards. Really sinking the hips down. Good. And then reaching that hand towards the back leg. You might be able to get hold of the back leg. You might be able to lift the hips back and go back towards the calf or somewhere in between. But reach that top arm over, really stretching down the whole left side of the body. Good. And then coming back, windmill the hands all the way around to frame the front foot, tuck the back toes and lift the back knee. And then bending into that front leg, we're going to take that back leg up off the floor, keeping the left hand down, then open up the right arm into a revolved half moon. Make sure that back leg is engaged, really engage all the muscles around that back left leg, really stretching the hands up towards the ceiling. If you want to go for a bind, if you're crazy, then feel free to bend the knee, reach for the toe, and then kick back with the leg. Couple more breaths here, you're doing really well. If you're in the bind, let the bind go. Drop the hand back down to the mat, and then very slowly drop the back foot down to the mat. And then we'll jump and switch to the other side. The left leg comes forward, right leg goes back. And then drop the knee back down to the mat. Untuck the toes if that feels better or leave them tucked and tied up to you. And then bring the hands to heart centre and allow the hips to sink forward and down. Couple of breaths here. Excellent stuff. Then taking the right hand down to the inside of the front foot, you can always use a block here if you need one, open up through the left hand, coming into a twist, trying to keep the hips level, but really reaching that hand back and trying to really reach that shoulder back, opening up through the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades together lifting the belly away from the front thigh, so really squeezing the core in. And then using your core, really squeeze everything in and lift yourself up into the twist on this side. So the left arm is back, right arm is forward. And then take that back arm down towards the back or towards the calf, and reach the right arm over. So we're really getting a stretch down the right side of the body. Coming back up, windmilling the hands around towards that front foot, tucking the back foot and lifting the knee up off the floor. Keep the right hand down on the ground, Take the weight in the front leg, lift the right back leg back up, and then open up the left arm towards the ceiling. So we've come into a revolved half moon on the other side. Engage that back leg. Really make the standing leg nice and strong. Pull the core in, engage the muscles around the arms and the legs. Get yourself really balanced. And then drop the left hand down to the ground drop the right foot down towards the floor, bend the knees, 
and hand over the legs in forward fold. Just letting the spine decompress. Let any tension in the back of the neck release. Maybe nod the head, maybe shake the head. Then inhaling, come all the way up to the top, reaching the hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale, the hands back to heart center. Then really grounding down through the left foot, bring the right knee up and hug it in with both hands towards the torso. Really making your standing pose really strong. Standing leg is really strong. Pressing the feet, the toes, the heel into the ground. Stacking the joints up nicely on top of one another. Pulling the core in. Shoulders are relaxed. Gaze is strong. Pulling that knee in. Excellent. And we release the knee, we bring the hands to heart centre, we take that foot all the way through the back, coming into warrior three. Keeping the hips nice and level, really squeeze everything in. And then on an inhale, come back up, bring the knee with you, squeeze it back into the chest. Let go of the knee, hands to heart centre. Take a nice big inhale. On an exhale, take that movement through to warrior three. Really engaging the muscles, pulling the core in, making your movement slow, mindful, and purposeful. One more in each direction. Inhaling as we come back through. Hug the knee up towards the chest. And then exhaling as we go back into warrior three, stretching that leg out behind you. Then standing up, bringing the right foot to the floor. Well done, other side. So really ground down through the right leg this time. Lift up the left knee, hug it in towards you. Making sure that the standing leg is grounded and strong. Making sure that your spine is stacked bone on top of bone. Pressing the toes and the balls of the feet and your heels into the mat. Having a strong gaze, tummy muscles are pulled in, hug the knee in towards your chest. Take a nice big inhale, hands to heart centre, on an exhale take the leg through and out the back into warrior three. Confident slow movement from one pose to the other. Inhaling as you bring the leg back, squeeze the knee in towards the chest. Exhaling as you bring the hands back to heart centre. Take it back out to warrior three behind you. And then inhaling as you come back through. Squeeze the knee in towards the chest. Last one. Exhaling, take that leg out behind you. And then inhaling, bring it back to standing. Good work. Balancing is over. I need to take my jumper off. I'm starting to get hot now. <laughs> okay. So, tops of the mats. Inhale, arms up nice and tall, reaching up, looking up. Exhale, folding forwards, big bend in the knees. Inhale, nice long back, halfway lift. Exhale, folding forwards. Take the left leg back, drop the heel down this time, and windmill the arms up to warrior two. Really strong legs, so the legs are going to stay exactly where they are. As we flip the front palm, we take a nice big inhale. Then exhale, moving into reverse warrior, looking up towards those top fingers. And then exhale as we come forward, elbow to knee, and reach the back arm over the top of the head. Exhale as you go back into reverse warrior. And then inhale as you come forwards into side angle, reaching that top arm over the head. Exhale as we go back into reverse. And then inhale as you come back forwards into side angle. Come back into your warrior two and take three deep breaths in your warrior two. 
Legs really, really strong, feet pressing into the mat. Arms are engaged. And windmill the arms around to frame the front foot, come onto the toes of the back foot and step back to plank. Take your knees, your chest and your chin down towards the mat or come down through Chaturanga into Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Stretch the chest forwards. Exhale as you come back down, tucking the toes, take the hips back towards the heels and then press up into your Downward Facing Dog. Get really comfortable in your dog, stretching the chest through towards your arms, then float the left leg up behind you. Really stretch those toes up towards the sky as high as you can. Bend at the knee, open the hip and get the stretch through the deep core muscles, through the psoas and the iliacus. Take a nice big inhale as you stretch those toes back up towards the ceiling, levelling up hips. And then exhale and you really pull that foot forwards and place it between the hands, giving it a little tug if you need to. And then inhale, come up towards your warrior one, but this time, instead of coming all the way up, leave your arms down by your sides and the body is a diagonal. Then interlace the fingers behind you and stretch the arms away to stretch across the front of the chest. So keeping this line through the body and through the back leg, inhale, straighten the front leg, exhale, down. Inhale to straighten. Exhale to bend, inhale to straighten, exhale to bend. Beautiful, release the hands, frame the front foot, step the back foot forwards, and then exhale, hang in forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long back, and then exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to the top, reaching up, looking up, stretching up, Exhale, hands back to heart centre. Excellent, other side, inhale, arms up. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, halfway lift, long back, long neck. And then exhale, folding forwards. Take the right leg back this time and ground down through that heel. So we come into warrior two legs and then windmill the arms up to warrior two. Get comfortable in your pose, so really ground down through the back leg, ground down through the front leg. Make sure your hips are comfortable. Stretching the arms out towards the sides. Flip the front palm. Take a nice big inhale, then exhale into reverse warrior, looking up at those top fingers, stretching that hand back. Then exhale as you come forwards, or inhale, whichever is the opposite to what you've just done. <laughs> and stretch the arm forwards over the top of your head. So exhale as we go back into reverse, reaching the front arm up and over the top of the head. And then inhale as you come forwards, elbow to knee, and reach the top arm over. Exhale as you go back into reverse, last one each way. Really reaching those fingers back. And then inhale as you come forwards, elbow to knee, reaching that top arm over. The legs stay exactly where they are, not moving at all. Windmill back up to warrior two. Make your pose really strong. Arms are strong. Gaze is strong, looking out over the front hand. Three deep breaths here. Excellent. Then windmill the hands around to frame the front foot, spin onto the toes of the back foot and step back to plank. Either do knees, chest, chin, or come down to chaturanga, into your cobra, or your upward facing dog. Stretching the chest forwards. Exhale, coming back down to the mat, tucking the toes, taking the hips back towards your heels, and back into our downward facing. So make sure the fingers are spread wide, pressing through the palms and the fingers. Stretch the chest through towards the thighs. 
Really stretching out that back, having a wiggle and a jiggle wherever your body feels it needs it. Then float that right leg up towards the ceiling, really stretching it as high as you possibly can. Bend at the knee, open the hip, then get a stretch into the deep core muscles, into the psoas and iliacus on this side. Really reaching those toes over the back towards your left shoulders, trying to keep the shoulders in line. And then stretching those toes back up towards the ceiling, levelling out the hips. Take a nice big inhale, look forward and on your exhale, squeeze the knee in and bring the foot to between the front hands. Inhale up into your warrior one and then take the body forwards to a diagonal, bring the arms down by the sides. Then continue the arms behind you, interlace the fingers and stretch them away. If it's easier, you can roll the hands out away from you as well. Do whatever feels more natural. And then as you inhale, straighten the leg. As you exhale, take a bend in the knee, but keep your body at a diagonal. So inhale to straighten, exhale, bend, pulling the belly away from the thigh. Inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. Good, release the hands, drop the hands down to either side of the front foot and step the back foot forwards. And then bend the knees and hang the torso over the thighs. And take three deep breaths, hanging in forward fold. Once you've done your three breaths, on an inhale, come to halfway lift, long back, long neck. And then on an exhale, fold once more. Then on an inhale, stretch the arms out to the side and up above the head, reaching up, looking up. And exhale, hands back to heart centre. Beautiful. Coming sideways on your mat. Feet want to be nice and wide, comfortably wide, much wider than your hips. If you can, then feet parallel to the ends of the mat. But if you have any low back or sciatic nerve issues, then let the toes point out in the same direction as your knees. Keeping ourselves nice and tall, hands on hips, really engage through the legs. The legs are strong. Find your perfect balance point between the balls of your feet and your heels so that your body is perfectly balanced in the middle. And then stay there. Really engage the legs to make sure you stay there. And then keeping the back long, pivot from the hips until you can't go any further. Keeping the back long. Once you can't come any further, then you can round down, let the head hang heavy, bring the hands to the mat. Take three deep breaths here. Legs are strong, back is completely relaxed. Really squeeze those muscles around the legs, press the feet into the mat and let the upper body be completely relaxed against gravity. Then walking the hands forward, place the left hand underneath the face and inhale as you stretch the right arm up towards the ceiling into a twist. Take a couple of breaths here. Really trying to ground down through those feet, really pressing into the mat. Then bringing that hand back down in front of the face, move to the other side, really stretching that arm up. And have a couple of breaths this side really trying to open that left shoulder towards the ceiling. Then bringing that hand back down, 
On your next exhale, take the, the other arm up. Really stretching that hand up towards the ceiling, grounding down through the feet, making sure the legs are strong. Pull the core muscles in. On your next exhale, see if you can twist a little further. Then coming back down, last one on the other side. Inhaling that arm up. And then on the exhale, see if you can twist a little further. Keep the legs strong, lift the kneecaps up. Really pull all of those muscles in around your thighs, around your calves. Stretching that top arm open. On each exhale, see if you can twist a little bit more. And then bring the hand back down onto the mat in front of you. Take the head down towards the mat and take your hands wherever feels most natural to you. If you just want your hands on the mat, that's absolutely fine. If you want to stretch them through your legs, then feel free to do that. If you'd rather hold on to your um, ankles or your calves or somewhere along your leg, then feel free to do that as well. Keep the shoulders away from your ears so that your neck is relaxed and stretch the head down towards the floor. And then lifting up, take the hands to the knees, bend the knees, taking the toes out so that the toes are pointing in the same direction as your knees. Drop your left shoulder into the middle and push the knee away to get a nice stretch. And then coming over to the other side, drop the right shoulder in and then push the other knee away. So moving from one side to the other, stretching one way. And then coming over and stretching the other way. Coming over to one side. And then over to the other side. Good stuff. And coming up through centre into our Goddess Pose. We'll have three nice deep breaths in Goddess Pose. Really squeeze your bum muscles together, open the knees so that everything in your legs is engaged. Press down through the feet, down through the toes. Open up the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. Everything in your body should be doing something. So if you're hanging out somewhere, tighten it. Okay, that was maybe a little bit more than three breaths, but I know you all love goddess pose. On the next inhale, think about moving. On an exhale, take your bum a little bit lower. And then you can stretch up on an inhale. And exhale, bring the hands down by your side. Twist yourself around to face the front of the mat and step forwards. Then we're going down to the mat, so you can go down in whichever way you like. If you just want to do something a little bit fun, then cross your legs over and see if you can go all the way down and end up set, sitting cross-legged on your mat. It's much easier doing it that way than the other way, getting up, believe me. <laughs> you can practice that later, trying to get back up again from there. <laughs> Right, we'll roll all the way back down onto our mat. Feet coming in towards the glutes. Feet are parallel. Arms down by your sides. Palms face down to start with. Take a nice big inhale. And on an exhale, relax everything onto your mat. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath your torso. Really feel the belly settle. Then on your next inhale, gently peel the tailbone up off the floor and then take it higher and higher and higher, peeling your spine bone by bone by bone up off the mat. When you get to the top, lift your hips as high as you can, squeeze the inner thighs together, squeeze the glutes together, keep breathing, lengthen the neck if you need to. If it's in your practice and you want to do the bind, then interlace your fingers and roll onto the tops of your shoulders. But continue to keep lifting your hips, really getting into a bigger back bend as you can. 
squeezing those inner thighs together once more. So another nice big inhale. And then release the bind if you're in it. Take another big inhale. And on an exhale, gently, slowly, lower the back down, bone by bone, by bone, by bone, by bone. With the hips coming down last. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, relax everything onto the mat, making sure the shoulder blades are nice and comfy underneath your torso. Neck is long. Then on your next inhale, start to peel your tailbone up off the mat, followed by your spine, bone by bone by bone, until you can't lift any higher. Then holding at the top, interlacing the fingers and doing the bind if you want to, or just lifting the hips. It's your practice, so you do what suits you best. And then just take a few breaths here at the top, concentrating on lifting the hips, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the inner thighs towards one another. Seeing if on each exhale you can lift a little higher. And then release the bind if you're in it. And on an exhale, gently and slowly, release the spine back down to the mat, bone by bone by bone by bone. Take the left leg out long and squeeze the right leg in towards your chest. Interlace your fingers over the top of your shin and pull your knee towards your right armpit. The right foot is completely relaxed. The left leg is strong, foot is flexed pressing the calf down into the mat. Use your arm strength to pull the bent knee in towards your shoulder, really squeezing it in, squeezing your shoulder blades behind your back. And then release. Take the right leg out long, bring the left leg in. Take the fingers around the shin and pull that knee in towards your left armpit. The left foot is completely relaxed, right leg is strong, foot flexed, calf pressing down into the mat. Use your arm strength to hug the bent knee in. Really squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Use your shoulders, squeeze the shoulder blades together, pressing the right calf down into the mat. And then completely relax and release both legs. Then hug both knees in. This time, roll yourself up and hug your arms around your knees. Then allow your head and shoulders to go back down to your mat and try and lengthen the spine back onto the mat. Squeezing your knees in as tight as you can. Feet are relaxed. The pressure is coming from your arms. Squeezing your arms, squeezing your shoulders, trying to elongate your spine as much as you can onto the mat. And then completely relax and release, take the legs out long, arms down by the sides, completely relaxed. And then finally, happy baby. Take the feet up towards the ceiling, bend the knees and encourage them towards the armpits, reaching for the feet, holding the feet wherever is most comfortable for you, either outsides, insides, over the toes. If you can't reach the feet, you can always hold onto the ankles or the shins. Work wherever your body is at this evening. And then just take a few breaths in, happy baby. And releasing your happy baby off. Do whatever pose you feel you need to do before we come into final salasana. So if you feel you need to stretch in a particular way, then feel free to stretch in a particular way. If there's another pose that you want to do before we settle down onto our mats for final relaxation, then this is your chance to do it right now. Whatever you've chosen, take three deep breaths in that pose. And 
and then release it off and come into final savasana. Letting the legs go out long, feet falling open, arms down by your sides, shoulders tucked underneath the torso. Gently close your eyes and completely relax your body onto the mat. If your lower back is uncomfortable at all, then bring your feet to the floor and let the knees roll in. Or feel free to bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees roll out. And then just enjoy the weight of your body pressed down by gravity into your mat. Knowing that you did a good thing this evening in getting the body moving, getting it stretching, building on your strength. And now's the time to seal that practice in the body and let it relax. The heels are heavy, pressing into the mat. Backs of the calves, heavy, pressing into the mat. The backs of the thighs are heavy, pressing down onto the mat. The whole legs from the tips of your toes up to your groins are really heavy, pressing into the mat. The pelvis is heavy with the coccyx pressing into the mat. The torso feels heavy as the belly relaxes, the ribs spread, and the middle and upper back press into the mat. The arms are heavy. The backs of the hands pressing into the mat. The forearms pressing into the mat. The elbows heavy, pressing into the mat. The upper arms and the shoulders heavy, pressing into the mat. Your whole arms, from the tips of your fingers all the way up to your shoulders, are heavy and relaxed, pressing into the mat. The head is heavy, back of the head, pressing into the mat. The forehead is relaxed as the eyebrows relax and spread apart from one another. The eyes are relaxed. Even though your eyes are closed, your gaze is soft. The nose, your cheeks, your jaw, all completely relaxed whilst your tongue floats in the middle of your mouth. Your whole body, heavy and relaxed, pressing down on your mat. When you're ready, bring your awareness back to your body laid on your mat. 
Maybe start by just noticing your breath. Maybe wiggle your fingers and your toes or circle through the wrists and the ankles. Move your body in whatever way it wants to move. And then when you're ready, and there's no rush at all, roll over onto your side and come up to seated. Thank you for making an effort to practice with me this evening. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope to see you on your mats again soon.